I was on my way back, and I seen something in the road ahead of me, and I, uh, I realized it was an older man walking down the center of the road. So I pulled over and asked him if he was last to get a ride. Uh, his response was, I've never been so last in my life. So uh, I picked him up, and we started driving back to town, and he started telling me how he lost his wife the week before. He just wanted to see her again, so he just wanted to end it, that was it. And, he, and so I took him into town and asked him how long he's been out. He said he's been out walking around in the woods since the day before in the morning, so almost two days. So I pulled him to paradise, took him to Cape Horn, because he didn't expect I was going to feed him, but I found him a big feed, all that good stuff. And, uh, we talked a bit more and I asked him where he wanted to go and he said after talking to you, he said it seems, seems a little bit worthwhile. He said so uh, if you try to get into the St. Clair's it'd be great. So this is what I did and uh, when he was walking in I called him back and I gave him a bit of change that I had left so I gave him like $20 so he would have some food the next day and uh, he gave me a big hug through the window and said thanks for saving my life and uh, that hit me really hard. It was, uh, it was a great experience. I've had, I shared the story on Facebook and it was, uh, it was shared like 2,500 times or 2,700 times or something like that. And people uh, have been writing me out the past week saying, you know, you were his guardian angel, but in the end, you know, I'm not anybody to judge that in my, in my opinion, he was my guardian angel that night, so. Uh, I uh, ended up breaking this song. It's pretty much the story of what happened. Uh, it's kind of worthwhile. I'm enjoying it. Oh, 